Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Uh, Anna? Who is this guy? The name's Tyler Duffy, and I'm Anna's former employer. Ah! Anal bell! <laughs> Anal bells, huh? Quite a visual you had going there. Wait, what? It's about time you woke up. You've been out for close to a year. Wait, a year? What about those girls? What girls? The girls, you know, the, the ones where you hooked me up with a porn star? Me? Hook you up with a porn star? You couldn't even handle one of those. If you mean those girls I brought in earlier, I assumed you were still out cold and wouldn't hear anything. Was I seriously out without responding for that long? Well, yeah. Uh, well, you did react a little when I borrowed your leg halfway through my business with the women. I don't even... Uh, no, I'm, I'm just... I, I, I can't... No. Wow, I guess you were up then. Because that's like verbatim of what the girls were saying. Not ten minutes after waking up from your coma and you're already taking more of my advice. Your toleration amuses me. Or maybe it was the donations our live porn feed generated. Giving me 50% of $10,000 only makes me half as pissed. And I don't see how stuffing a sock in the front of my pants won't me land one of those interested women. It won't. Then why did you suggest it? Because if it does, then I can walk around with just a sock over my dick and not worry about the rest of my attire. Simple. Cheap. Sensor friendly. I think you'd get arrested for that anyway, dude. Seriously. I won't even walk with you sometimes when you don't fasten your armor crotch pretty properly. Oh shit. Great. I'm gonna have some waterlogged boots to go with this shit. Where's the nearest boat? Boat? Come on, man. It's not even knee deep. I shouldn't have to step in water. Well, you can stay here then. I've got a better idea. This has got to be the most fucking weird shit I've ever had to do. Be glad my crotch plate is fastened, because this position is strangely erotic. Nice to know I turned somebody on. Hey, don't start getting any weird ideas. Because if you ever repeat that in hearing distance again, I'm going to fit you into a conch shell and serve you as surfing turf to the next bitch I date. Remind me again why I helped you? barely see in this place. Just follow the light to the other end. Not if it means I'm depending on you. Okay, seriously. Why the hell do you act like I'm incompetent? For the same reason my dad did it to me. Was to help me grow some balls. The man gave me a can of thick and creamy mushroom soup, but no can opener to open it with. Was he too cheap to own a can opener? Nope. He just said, son? Sometimes you'll forget a can opener and be starving on an island like Tom Hanks in Castaway. So how are you supposed to open the damn can? I don't know. I just ate the label because I had a picture of the food. Then I reported my dad for child abuse and got his pension paycheck while he went to jail. Man, that's harsh. Not as harsh as me passing the wrapper. The shit wasn't all paper, apparently, and got me an extra punitive payment for the damage to my anus. I was set for life. So, I gave my dad my thanks by giving him a can of soup with a new can opener. No father should be disappointed in a son that follows his example and does one better. That actually makes some sense. I'm surprised. Well, this is the place. Smells like rubber gloves and lubricant. How the hell do you know what that stuff smells like? When you've used that stuff as much as I have, the trademark scent sticks in your head. Why would you use that stuff for... Wait, wait, no, 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 don't, don't answer that. Anyway, what is this place? It's the clinic that handled your care for the last year. You're going to have one hell of a bill when you walk in. Some help you've been all day. I seriously can't believe I dreamed you would actually help me get a date, let alone keep me alive. Dick. Relax, I would help you. I just don't like people riding my coattails. But you're wearing armor. Ah, <sighs> uh, yes, Chris. I see you're walking normally. As soon as my assistant, Dr. Darko, joins me, we can proceed with the evaluational physical.
Sorry I'm late, Doctor. Wait, you're Dr. Darko? That's right. Is he Darko? God, this physical is going to be really fucking awkward. Relax, Chris. I was in charge of your care and had to observe your condition while you were in the coma. Now drop your pants. Why are you in here anyway? I'm here to make sure you aren't violated. Although this is probably the only woman who's seen that part of you. Probably going to be the last, too. Matthew! If you can't stay professional, I will have to ask you to leave. That was embarrassing. Would have been more embarrassing if I had let them know your junk was swollen. It's not swollen! It's okay. Your adventure has made me consider scheduling a physical myself. Why would you get a physical? I was watching that hot-sounding chick eyeball you. And if she was okay with that, then she'd love me. Women don't only care about that in a guy. No wonder you're still a virgin. <laughs>